Hey fans, I'm Ronald James Hoff Jr. You might remember me from such classics as Walking Out of a Movie or Audience Member in the new movie Cherry, now playing on Apple TV+. Since this pandemic started, my manager has been saying, Oh Ron, there are so many actors out there that don't have access to everything you have. You have lights, cameras, green screens, editing. You have everything most actors would kill for. I have everything except for one thing, content. So, with the new year, I'm ready to pull up my sleeves and get back to work making content. So, people will hire me as an actor. Yay. Hey fans, welcome to a new episode of content. Of course, my name is Ronald James Hoff Jr. And today, we are going to fix some amateur plumbing yay so this is what not to do when you are under a two sink in the kitchen and you got a garbage disposal and then a regular sink if you look here look at this amateur hour cluster fuck so if you look here down here and from the other camera angle if you look right there whoever put this together did not do it properly even as far as gluing the connectors together so of course it's leaking so this has to be completely reworked because this is not how you put together plumbing under a dual sink in your kitchen or pretty much any sink so you're gonna need some basic tools uh, pretty much a uh, pair of uh, a wrench and a cutty saw thing and some gluey gluey glue stuff with some treat or treat treat stuff and this extension cord you will find out here soon so let's talk about for a second why this does not work so let's say you or your wife accidentally drop a ring down into the into the into the drain uh, at this point there's only two or three connections you have to back this one off back this off back this off and then go fishing somewhere down in the trap which is probably where it's going to be. Of course, looking at this plumbing, it could be stuck here because this is not even level. As a matter of fact, this is lower than this. So I am sure that there's a bunch of crap under here, which would explain why sometimes when I use the garbage disposal, it feeds water back up into the other sink. So what you're going to need as far as parts is you're going to need a sink kit you're going to need a p-trap right and you're going to need a trap adapter which is what is going to go and connect to back here because i have to cut this all the way off and redo this entire thing so p-trap adapter you're going to need a tube they call this uh well there's no name for it but it's basically it's going to connect between the end here and the end of the p-trap and that also means you're going to have to have another nut i think i'm going to need this other nut i'm not sure okay so to get started i'm going to disconnect these two things i'm going to disconnect here and then drain all the water out because that's where the water is collected here, which prevents sewer gas from coming in. Then I'm going to cut this back here. And then I'm going to glue on this adapter. And then I'm going to assemble it from there. So what I need to do is disconnect, unplug the dishwasher, and unplug the garbage disposal and get it out of the way so I'm gonna disconnect this bullshit here oh I gotta do that too fuck that's gonna be fun 
And I'm going to disconnect this motherfucker. <clears throat> this is tight the other one I could do by hand okay now to get nasty oops got the wrong way You bitch. There we go. Oh, and they even have it cross threaded. Oh, yeah. That's why. Oh, these motherfuckers have it cross threaded. That's probably why it's leaking. You pissant fucking stupid fucks. And it's not coming loose, is it? Ugh. Yeah, it's coming loose. But they cross threaded it. Oh, look at that. Look at that mess of a mess. Oh, yeah. Good old stinky fucking shit plumbing. Oh, I hate plumbing. I hate it. 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 Oh. Already five minutes into this thing. Look at this. See, it's cross threaded. So I should have this loose and off by now, but it's cross threaded. Which makes extra fucking work, extra bullshit. Okay. Is it off? I think it's off. Oh, not quite. Now I gotta fight with it. <sighs> Come on. There we go. <sighs> shitty ass, shitty ass plumbing. Stupid. Fucking people. Oh, now my hands are all nasty. Oh, and the sink in the bathroom in here is fucked up too. We're gonna get to that soon. Dick hole, some of my bitches. Okay. And see, this is loose. So, when I glue on the P trap adapter, I'm gonna end up using this extension cord to hold this back so I can glue it properly. Okay. You thought that part was fun. Now I've got to somehow fit my ass into here and cut this pipe. I don't know if you know this, but it helps when you cuss. <sighs> yep, totally helps if you cuss at this motherfucking stupid fucking amateur hour. Goddamn bullshit. This is why I'm not a plumber. But I will play one on TV though. Oh, that's good. Let's leak right on the dishwasher. Okay. 
Did you get that? <sighs> okay, the fun part is done. Okay. Now, I gotta get some sandpaper and clean that up. <sighs> Fucking garbage. So that's done. Oh, okay, so need a little bit of sandpaper. And I'm gonna reach in here. Oh, not crush my balls. Oh, okay. Ugh. In here, you're gonna clean this up as best you can. So you wanna rough, get the rough edges off as best you can. And more importantly, I'm going to make sure all this surface is somewhat clean. Uh, looks like looks like there might be some paint on here. Even more bullshit. Let's see what will happen is if you don't clean this stuff off. The primer, this shit, the purple primer, will not properly get that plastic PVC Schedule 40 ready so you can then apply the rubber cement. So you've got to make sure that this is really, really, really good. And don't rub this way. You want to rub in a circular motion because if you don't, you can put grooves this way that the water could seep through. See, this is why plumbers will charge you a shit ton of money to fix your fuck ups because you don't know what the hell you're doing. You know, YouTube has plenty, plenty of videos. You would think on how to do this the right way, but I'm showing you how to fix it when someone did it the wrong way. Dumbasses. You know, it seems the older I get, the more I really relate to Red Foreman. It seems like I'm doing a lot of work here that seems to be or appears to be unnecessary, but believe me, it is not. Because if you glue this together and it leaks, I'm gonna have to cut this all out and replace this pipe that's back here and do it right the first or the second time. You know what a semi-wise man once told me? Measure twice, cut once. Oh, that needs to go back there. I cannot express how important it is to make sure that this is clean. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty sturdy, so I won't need I won't need the extension cord. Here we have here we have the uh, the trap adapter, so that is going to fit over this. The dry fit. And then your, it comes with two washers. This is for the inch and a quarter, and this is for the inch and a half. Now what we're dealing with on this one is inch and a half. That's not where it's gonna go. It's actually gonna go on that long pipe here that will get us to the P-trap. For this, you use the purple primer, and you're gonna heavily douse the inside of this and the outside of this guy with that stuff. Then you're going to use the PVC cement and you're gonna put some liberally on the inside of the, uh, of the trap adapter and on the outside of this. Then you're gonna put it on and turn it counterclockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter, you're gonna give it a quarter turn. Press it all the way in to seat it and then give it a quarter turn. So let's do that now. And of course, this stuff stains. So get yourself a shop rag. And can you just go in there and stay in there for a while? So take the primer, purple stainy stuff, and it's already dripping every fucking where because that's what this shit does liberally all the way around make sure it is good and stuck or primed what this does is actually starts to activate the plastic to uh, melt because it's basically what PVC cement and your basic like modeling cement remember when you were a kid and you did models it doesn't glue like super glue does what it does with that is actually melts the plastic a little bit. So when it adheres, it, uh, it melts it. This shit is so stainy and stinky and nasty. That out of the way. Now, this stuff. So it's nice and primed, that's nice and primed. I'm pretty sure you let this stuff dry. It's been, oh, and look, I got it all over my fucking hands. This stuff is just evil, pure fucking evil. Uh, do not induce vomiting, that sounds good. Do not thin, apply thoroughly. Ah, while it's still wet. So, this stuff is still wet. Come on. Even brand new, this shit is a pain in the ass to open. Ugh. All right, I'm getting stoned. Whew. Okay, liberally. Just put a shit of it, a bunch of it on. Good. This stuff here, liberally on the inside of this. Stick it on and make sure it's on twist. Okay, that should be good. I didn't get any glue on the threads. It's gonna drip down. That's perfectly fine. It's not going to leak. And you let this stuff dry. Uh, well, well ventilated space, that makes sense doesn't say how long, but if I remember correctly, it's like, I don't know, half an hour, 20 minutes. Let's see here. Fully put together for 30 seconds. Wipe off excess. Allow 15 minutes for good hardening. Strength. Giggity. In two hours, cure time at room temperature above 60 degrees before pressure testing. 
up to 180 PSI. Well, we're not going to be pressure testing, but that is what it would have been done if the plumber that installed this everything 20 years ago when this house was brand new, but this place, the, this kitchen was remodeled before we got it. That's why you saw the amateur hour under here. So while that's drying, I've got plenty of other things to do. You saw how that was messed up uh, and how I mentioned that when I ran the garbage disposal, sometimes it would fill the other sink. See down in that hole there? See how there is a little guard there? What that is, the garbage disposal is going to be connected through here and the water is going to be forced to go down. It won't have, it won't have that weird tube thing so it would force it up. So this is, the mo this is important as well. When you put on the washer to make the connection, so this is gonna go like this, right? When you make this connection, put on your uh, thread this way and you make sure that your washer is rounded this way, like this. That way when it makes connection to the other, it seals around, you see that? If you do it the other way, it will leak. What I've done is I have cleaned this up. It's good. It's a good idea to make sure that these, these, these are clean, everything's clean. And I had to cut this a little shorter to make everything kind of fit. So this goes under here. Oops, I'm doing it wrong already. Put that there. And then this goes under see how it's flanged that way and that okay so I'm just dry fitting this right now that goes there and this goes here so what I got to do is I've got to cut I've got to cut this pipe here so I've got it there and as you can see I need to make myself a this is harder than I thought. I'm gonna need to make myself a little line. So I need an extra hand. So about where my thumb is is where I'm gonna cut it. That way it slides into into that uh, flange. Cause you see where the tip of my finger is. That's how far it goes in. As you can see with the black pipe here. See how that fits in there. So once I cut this, then here is my P-trap, so that's going to go like here somewhere, and then this pipe here will have to be cut to accommodate the P-trap. So I need to make a bunch of cuts, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm dry fitting this pipe here, and as you can see with this, well maybe it might be hard for you to see, but with this all the way up, and this all the way in, and this all the way up, all the way up, all the way in, all the way up. See how there's a little bit of a pitch there? There needs to be a little bit of a pitch here for the water to flow down. If it's low, or even somewhat level, you can get pooling of stuff. Now, I know there's a code for this in plumbing. It, has, it can only go like so far... Um, so many inches per foot or centimeters per foot but in my experience this looks pretty good so this part is actually done well not done done but as far as dry fitting this is this is done I've got this all kind of dry fitted I had to cut this pipe a little bit to get it to line up you can see from that camera I need to measure between here and here that's in that's in the right place so that measurement from there from about there to there it's a roughly about nine inches and there will be some play there but uh, I'm almost done here
This is what's fun about being left-handed. It goes like that. And then you feed that in there. And I'm just gonna just slowly tighten that a little bit. Just go a little more. This one underneath here. Oops. Ha! I'm just fucking up all over the place, aren't I? I'm gonna do this right. It goes over here. Like that. Where's the other one? I have one under here. And that goes over like that. Pop that out. up, tighten a little bit, this goes in here, oops, there's my other nut, get up there, there we go, and that goes up here, all the way up, that goes all the way up, tighten that down. Tighten that down. Tighten that down. It's all the way up. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Now, nut washer. That up there. And out a little bit to go into there, seat into there, over here, oh, that is seated all the way in to this, tighten that, and make sure that is seated in as it should be, it is, tighten that up, and as you can see, there should be a little bit of a downward angle here. good and tight there that's good and tight there good and tight here and good and tight here so this is the correct way to plumb the drain under your sink notice there's a little bit of an angle here there's a nice P-trap here, so if someone drops something down into the trap, you can disconnect here, disconnect here, and get out and wash out and put it back in without having to do anything else. As opposed to this cluster fuck, where you had to disconnect there, there, and down here, and then somehow fish shit out. No, bad plumbing amateur hour. Good job. Thanks for watching. If this has inspired you to never be a plumber, or it has inspired you to be a plumber because it is very lucrative to fix amateur hour, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for next week. How did you get on? Motherfucker.
Ha! Ha! This is a switched outlet. Dipshit. Ha ha ha! You learn something every day, don't you, stupids? This is the drain for the dishwasher, by the way. A special thanks to my friend Rick for giving me some refreshers on doing plumbing like this. It's been many years since I've done work like this. Before I was an actor, I did lots of plumbing, lots of drywall, home improvement stuff, and I was a electronics troubleshooter and technician for many years. So you'll be seeing videos like that too, coming soon. Thanks. Ah. Okay, when you are putting on a flange on a pipe, okay? So you put over the nut first, and this is important. You see how this is shaped? You want it this side down. Is that right? the other way. Oh shit, now I forget.